Good day and welcome back to Chemistry Videos. My name is Clarissa Sorensen Unruh and today we're going to be talking about reactions that happen at the benzylic position. All right, what does that mean? Okay. Reactions at benzylic position. Oh, that is squeaky. Yeah. That is one squeaky blue marker. All right, so <laughs> I just exchanged it out. No worries. Okay, so the things here that we're really thinking about are we are thinking about first, what is the benzylic position? Well, that's good to define, right? That is, if you have a substituent, that's this position right here. And that substituent can be just like CH3, like that, or it could be some long, chain, the benzylic position would still be right there, okay? So it's one carbon away on a substituent from the benzene ring, okay? And there are a couple of big reactions that happen with these kinds of positions. There are oxidations, and then there are the putting on of a leaving group. Okay, so what is that? Let's look at this idea here. Let's say that I have just our standard kind of ring with a methyl group coming off. Now remember the common name of this is toluene, right? So toluene is what we're looking at. Okay, you can either oxidize using uh, potassium permanganate or you can oxidize using uh, sodium dichromate or some kind of dichromate. Okay, I'm going to use sodium dichromate just because I can, I'm writing down all my lovely moments here, right? Remember that if you use the dichromate, that happens, you basically put all of this in the same uh, flask, right? But if you're doing, just as a note, if you're doing the potassium permanganate, then it's actually, this is also a squeaky blue marker. Well, I guess we're just, Squeaky and blue today. <laughs> no, we're really not. I'm just kidding. All right, um, there is kind of a dual step moment going on here, right? So we have two steps going on. Either way, we're gonna get as much oxidation as we can at that benzylic position. So, here we go. As much oxidation as we can is basically something like that, right? Now, this might be a little bit different if you don't have an ending, right? If you had a longer chain, then these would result in ketones. Um, but generally, it's not gonna, from what I understand, it's not gonna result in an aldehyde unless you have some kind of control over the reaction. And that is possible, but it takes different reagents. Okay, all right. And then the putting on of a leaving group. Our friend NBS, which is super awesome. NBS in my mind, by the way, always equivocates to something like BR2. It's not BR2, it's a bigger molecule. It has a lot more that it can do in terms of um, being stereospecific, but that's what I think of it as. I think of it as something like BR2 because it kind of accomplishes the same things that BR2 does. Um, but you cannot use, just as a side note here, this isn't really a parenthesis as if you could use this because you can't really use BR2 in this reaction. You have to use NBS, just FYI. Even though you can think of it as, a NB, as BR2, it has to be NBS. That puts on a leaving group, right? So it puts on BR. When you put on BR, oh my goodness, is the world open to you or what? You can go with SN1 or SN2 reactions in this case because that uh, carbon is a primary carbon. It would be an SN2, right? But if it was a tertiary uh, carbon, you might have something else going on or you could 
do, although tertiary carbons are a little harder to add something to, especially with something as big as NBS. So the ones may be a bit of a misnomer here and may really be more likely the twos. So SN2 and E2 that happen more often. But um, certainly those are plausibilities, right? You got the opportunity to do nucleophilic substitutions or you have eliminations that are possible as soon as you put that leaving group on. And that's important to note, right? Because we're putting these kinds of reactions in large toolboxes. And when we realize we can hit into the SNs or the Es, then it starts to be like, oh, I know something about those and I can do all kinds of things when I uh, think about those reactions. Okay, so in terms of adding to the benzylic position, that's about it. Hey, there's some other reactions that you probably could do, but that's it as far as you need to know. And um, until we meet again, I'll see you soon. Adieu.